guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with empties. I finished up a back stock of collect of products that I had been holding on to, and there are so many products here that we just need to get rid of them. So if that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. bothering you let me just let me move that out of the way move that out of the way is that better is that good that looks good okay look 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 at the end of last year beginning of this year i discovered hygiene youtube <laughs> and i went wild <laughs> and i purchased so many products like so many bath washes so many just everything and uh it opened up my world and i had a big back stock that i had quickly created i even did a video at the end of last year early this year sharing that back stock with you and there was a lot there i even did a um when i started my job and i have a shower or a locker because I have to take a shower there. I even showed my back stock in that video and how we were able to basically put a whole shower caddy together without having to purchase much. Like that's how much I had. And now like I used it up. The only thing that's in there are I organized it today. We have a couple of bar soaps, a couple of hand soaps, and that's it. <laughs> and honestly, I'll explain as I go through but the only things I really use now are products for baths, so like bath bombs, bath salts, bath oils, anything to make taking a bath relaxing and enjoying, enjoyable and just something that I really look forward to. Um, anything to do a mask, like whether that's an under eye mask, a face sheet mask, or actually putting on like, you know, actual mask from a tube, you know. So I have those two things. We have come down to, my husband and I, a body wash that we both love. And even though we've gone through all these ones that I'm going to show you, we're down to the one that we're just repurchasing. So I don't even feel a need to buy more or explore more with uh, bath washes. We'll just keep repurchasing what we have for now. Uh, I've used up all my backup lotions. And I kind of opened a couple at once. So I'm not going to repurchase any of those for a while. And I've kind of slowed down on CVS couponing as well because I found even though things were super cheap and affordable, I was just, I get sucked into these things where I just am so committed and then I'm just spending all this money even though it's a deal, it's still like a lot of money to spend over time and I'm not saying I won't get back to it, but I'm just scaling back right now. So that's a little bit of the backstory because as I start going through this stuff, you're going to be like, oh what <laughs> so let me just let me just show you real quick a little behind the scenes so this is what we're about to go through so we have all of these products these products these products and these products i might be in a different area now but <laughs> it's all good so this is my husband and i using this these products up oh one thing i forgot to mention skincare been finishing a ton of skincare so let's just go by category and we'll start with body washes because that's what I have the most of. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, ooh, eight. Oh, I did a makeup empties. It should be on my channel already, but now the basket has its home back, so let me put that on that shelf. Okay, let's start with the eight body wash. So I'll explain the journey with you guys. So Jasmine, Chloe Jasmine, is who I like to watch on YouTube for hygiene. She kind of goes in waves on how much she posts it on her channel. Like, she'll go, like, crazy where that's all she'll post. But then lately she's been doing vlogs where it's, like, sprinkled in. But she hasn't been doing a lot of dedicated videos to hygiene. But when I was really getting into her, Dove is what she really recommended. And I've already gone through other Dove 
body washes that I've shared with you guys in the empties. But here we have three kinds. We have the Refreshing, which is a cucumber green tea. We have the Gentle Exfoliating with sea minerals. And then we also have the Hydrating Aloe Birch and Water Scent. Actually, I would repurchase this one to put into my bathtub, like bubble bath, because it smells so good and it bubbles up so nice. But overall, I'm not really going to repurchase these Dove ones anymore. I have really sensitive skin and initially these didn't bother it, but the more and more I used it, the more I noticed my skin flaring with psoriasis and it... I think it's a combo of this and other products, but this is definitely contributing to it. So I like these. I would recommend them. Um, they smell nice. They foam up nice. They w like they're nice to use. But if you have like sensitive skin, they, the scents on them might still be too much for you. These are just random ones I got because CVS coupons, all of that. Dial, this is a clean and gentle hypoallergenic body wash and water lily. I also have one of these that is almost done at work in my shower caddy. And it was nice. I don't think it's anything special. And I didn't use it like consistently in a row enough to notice if it bothered me or not. Um, and then Safeguard, I actually have a lot of hand soap from them. But they have body washes as well. So this is Triple Action Body Wash Micellar Water. And it doesn't... It has a nourishing aloe scent. It doesn't have a strong scent to it, but these are nice as well. I don't, again, use it either of these very consistently enough to know if they bother me or not, but I still don't think I really would purchase them unless I saw them on mega sale again, which is, I think I ended up getting these for a couple of bucks each, but we're done with those. So here is what we are repurchasing and repurchasing and repurchasing and just absolutely love. And it's so funny because I feel like I've gone full circle because this is what I purchased and used previously before I started exploring different options. But it's Dr. Bronner's uh, Pure Castile Soap. Th these two in particular are in the baby unscented so these are so natural and comfortable on the skin and they foam up nicely and they don't leave like a film or a residue like my skin feels clean when I use these and also not having a scent means I can mix in some body washes a little bit or not body washes like lotions and perfumes so then I'm not don't have too many scents going on but we love these. We've gone through these two um, and we repurchased but we got a mango flavor and I will say even though that's scented I don't notice it's like a strong lingering smell and it does still like make me feel clean and not, doesn't leave like a residue or a film. So this is what we've been purchasing and with both of us using it we just go through it so fast like I mean, not super fast, maybe like one a month or something, but we like it and it works nice. And the other one that we repurchased and that is just a staple for both of us is this Dove. This is actually a baby wash. This is the Sensitive Skin Care Hyper Hygienic Wash Fragrance Free. So we use these in our more sensitive areas, if you know what I mean. But I have used this as an actual body wash as well and it's just nice. Again, no scent, doesn't irritate, and it's just super easy to use. So we finished this one, we finished another one, we already have one that we're using. Um, so I guess if I were to backstock anything, it would be what we already use, but maybe I find it on sale. But love those. Those are our go-tos now. And I have a few other go-tos to show you, but as far as body wash, that's that on that. Okay. All right, here is a holy grail for both of us. This is the Tree Hut uh, Shave Oil. This particular one is Moroccan Oil rose we have used up other scents of this i think it doesn't really matter the scent it's the oil that is so good and it's so forgiving because you know how like a uh, shaving shaving foam can kind of like water hits it and it just slides right off even though you're trying to not let the water hit it and you're trying to be good even if the water's off the water dripping from the razor will like make the uh, it's just like if you know you know but this is so forgiving like if water hits it or whatever it doesn't really move it obviously because oil and water and you can go over the same area a few times without irritating your skin and it just leaves you a nice 
clean, smooth shave afterwards. So we love these and we'll continue to purchase them. You can get them from Ulta, Amazon, and probably some other places. I haven't seen them at like CVS or Walmart, at least the ones around me. Um, and I don't even see, I think Walmart online they do, but I don't even see it on CVS's website. I tried a different shaving gel. It's the one for sensitive skin. And what is that brand? It's like the white one that's supposed to be like for delicate areas and all of that. But I got their shaving cream or maybe theirs is more like an oil too. I don't know. It's not as good. It's just not as good. So that's definitely what we'll keep purchasing and repurchasing. Another favorite that I have purchased and repurchased and all of that is the Dove Zero Percent Aluminum. Uh, this is deodorant. This one is in lavender and vanilla. I've tried different scents. I like a lot of them. I think the lavender and vanilla is one of my favorite scents, but I have like a rose one now and I've tried other ones. I am very easily irritated by deodorants like if I try one that I doesn't agree, my whole armpit is red. It's almost like like burned from the product really because it's like so inflamed and itchy and irritated and it, it takes weeks for it to clear up. So I'm always like hesitant to try new products, but I was using Dove like a sensitive one for so long and that never irritated me, but I also felt like it started to not work. And then I switched to... Um, Old Spice uh, Wolf, Wolf Thorn because it doesn't have any aluminum and that worked for so long but again I started to feel like it didn't work and I like that one because it didn't have aluminum so when I saw this came out I was super excited even more excited that it doesn't break me out but in between Wolf, Wolf Thorn and this one I tried like some other scents of Dove I've tried Secret and it all just irritates me so bad um, Secret has a 0% aluminum that I have tried and that also irritates me. It's in my travel bag so if I use it once or twice I am starting to get irritated but it's not consistent enough use for it to be like totally inflamed. Uh, I should just like throw it away but uh, I can't use it more than a couple of days in a row. So love that. Another holy grail. So oh my gosh I didn't even realize this was like a holy grail thing until now. But here's CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I've repurchased and repurchased and repurchased and repurchased and I have a backup. I just went ahead and got like a massive size at Walmart. <laughs> And they are coming out with like a melting, uh, like a makeup remover, like a balm. What are they called? You know what I mean. Like you rub it together and it's oil. Um, and a like double cleanse to that, like a different uh, cleanser. I saw it in someone's video and then I went to the website and it just says coming soon on CeraVe's website. So as soon as those are in store, definitely going to try. But like don't buy high-end products like Go spend $10, $15, depending on what size you get. It's so good. It's so good. And it's so gentle. And it's not going to bother you. And it's good for all skin types. Like, just just get it. Commit to it. Love it. And they do have different kinds. And I think anything from CeraVe that I have tried is amazing. And I have even the stuff I haven't tried, I would go ahead and say it's probably amazing. So, love that. That's another holy grail. The rest of these are... Um, more CeraVe actually, the Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30. Yes, love it. This particular one with a pump absorbs a lot more easily than their other SPF that's like in a more harder plastic. Um, like them both, but this one I would prefer over the other one. <sighs> yeah, another Holy Grail would repurchase. Although with SPFs, I'm always trying something different because I'm just curious. Have we found the best? I don't know. But CeraVe is definitely really good. The rest of these products are not necessarily Holy Grails, but I use them. So let's talk about them. This type of product is a Holy Grail, but not this one in particular. Shea Moisture, they have a lot of oils and they all have different uses. So this one is Calming Bath Body and massage oil sensitive skin this one is in wild lavender and wild orchard 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 orchid orchid there it is <laughs> i like these oils to like as soon as i'm done with the shower before i dry off to put them on i put this on and then pat the water and the oil off some of these fragrances are better than others some of these formulas are better than others for that but if you put this in the bathtub 
um, if you're just soaking and relaxing, ah, your skin will feel really like soft afterwards and like you just feel like the moisture in your body. So I would repurchase this for a bath, but not for getting out of the shower to moisturize. They have other ones that are better for that. Um, but I love these oils and I'm always trying out new ones and I don't know that they necessarily come out with new scents But some stores carry different scents than others. So I'm always trying them all I'm gonna I'm gonna get through them all and then I'll probably get through them again because <laughs> I just really enjoy them Here's a product that Lindsay get, gave me back in Christmas if you watched that video and I loved it so much This is from philosophy and it's the purity made simple one-step facial cleanser and yeah, this is so good. I would say it still can't really get through mascara. A lot of products can't get through mascara, so I'm not gonna fault this one for it, but it really does take your makeup off, and when, you, when you're done, like you don't feel like you need to go wash your face again, do like a double cleanse. Like It feels like everything's off, your face feels clean, it feels smooth, it's not drying or anything like that. So I would repurchase, I'm just not gonna run out and repurchase it because it's a more expensive item when I have more affordable items that are just as good, but I was impressed. I thought it was really good. Here's a product that um, I believe Angela had given me. It's the Derma E Skin Restore Advanced Peptide and Collagen Moisturizers. I do like Derma E products. I think just like CeraVe, they're very gentle. They're a pretty good price point, and especially Derma E is always on sale somewhere. Uh, I did really enjoy this. I don't feel like I would go run out and get um, another one because I like more thicker moisturizers and this one's a little too lightweight for what I like at night. But I did enjoy use it, using it. I obviously used it all. On my TikTok channel, I do a lot of Get On Ready With Me's where I do my nighttime skincare. So if you watch those, you saw me use this a lot. Um, but that was nice. I have gotten finally gotten into the habit of doing a leave-in conditioner every time I get out of the shower or I should say every time I wash my hair so this is the Kristen S this is their leave-in conditioner it's a weightless shine I've had this for years it took me a long time to get through because I wasn't in a good routine of using it after I got out of washing my hair or got done washing my hair it's very like watery I don't think it's a very like impressive product like it smells nice and I don't think it's bad but I think I prefer like a little bit heavy duty leave-in conditioners more like that it's a 10 type consistency I know those the price point on those is like major <laughs> but I don't really like thin ones like that so I don't think I would repurchase and then here's some my last item it's Johnson's baby bubble bath and typically I just use like a body um Thing like this <laughs> usually I just use this well not like spoiler wait that was a bad that was a bad one this <laughs> for a bubble bath so just putting in a body wash uh, especially one that I don't love on my skin um, and it does a really good job but I wanted to buy like just its own and it was fun I don't think I like always need to have a bubble bath on hand although I might if we're using the cast oil soap because I don't think that's gonna like bubble up too well so maybe I'll think about it. But uh, this was nice and it was fun to have like just a bu bubble bath. Like that's what this was for. So maybe I would. Now, now that I say it out loud, I probably would purchase a bubble bath. That one's nice because it doesn't have any added scent. And you know when you're soaking, I just worry about like soaking in fragrances. Even though I use like bath bombs and stuff, I just still think and worry about my skin. Because I do get like, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it. All my psoriasis. Um... I am not an expert when I say this, but I feel like my body naturally has patterns of psoriasis on it. Like, it's always, like, under my scalp. It's always on this part of my arms, and it's always on my shins. But it just is a matter of how flared it is. So sometimes if I'm using a good bit of products and I'm not eating things that irritate me and I'm staying hydrated, then you don't really see it. But if I'm eating things that upset my stomach, if I am using products that are irritating to my skin then it's just like the patches get bigger and redder and patchier and I'm even like getting some on my face 
that that's kind of like a new pattern I feel like that I've never really gotten before so I just try to be very mindful of all of that and uh, try not to have like fragrance and everything but sometimes I get curious and I get excited and I want to smell good and it's just like I'm like okay I'll take the risk <sighs> okay all right guys that is everything for this video I don't know what to call it backup inventory clear out holy grails like empties product reviews because I feel like it was just all of that so I'll have to think through what I well you'll know what I ended up calling it but anyways thank you all so much for being here please subscribe if you're new it's mostly makeup and beauty over here I sprinkle in other things but makeup's just a fun outlet it's just fun to talk about it it's fun to try it it's fun to just make up beauty skincare all of that so anyways <laughs> hope you're all well and I'll see you in my next video bye